I actually listen to it at work and I don't dare to listen to it before I sleep. Noel is the king of Singapore paranormal. <laughs> You're listening to Haunted Hour, real ghost stories from real people. She could actually see see things and that freaked her out. The minute I turned off the light, she screamed. She was like, oh no! The following night, the same thing happened. The music continued playing. And then I felt hair like uh, sweeping my left cheek up and down. This is your host, Noel Boyd. Hey man, guys! Welcome to Haunted Hour Live. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Yeah, we had a little bit of delay getting online. Um, but don't don't blame me though. <laughs> don't blame me, okay, Noel. <laughs> okay, we're not gonna blame anybody. <laughs> but I, I'm just looking at a person. But thank God, man, we are live, brothers and sisters out there. <laughs> yeah, exactly, man. Uh, we we got a new look for the show. Yeah, uh, thanks to Indra. I think Indra has done a really good job. Look at that, man! <laughs> yeah, if if you like what you see, you know, just like this post and uh, you know, share it as well, so then more people get to watch Haunted yeah, Hour Live. Yeah, you, you welcome will help to us. Haunted Hour. I'm Indra Sahib, and I'm Noel Boyd. Yeah. Okay, so today in the studio we have Sirfan. And uh, Sirfan is going to share with us a little bit more about his paranormal encounters. Wow. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this abang Sirfan like very shy, ah. Huh? Yeah. He is. He is shy, abang. I'm possessed. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Nobody's getting possessed. Today. Yeah. Tonight. Tonight. Yeah. Tonight. <laughs> Tonight. No. Maybe tomorrow. Okay. First up, we like to give a shout out to um, a couple of people. Mm. First up is Get Alive Seafood. You know, if you love seafood, you know, just head to the website. Is Get Alive Seafood. Uh, you know, you can find it in the description. They have got really awesome stuff. The number one seller for them right now is fresh oysters. And wow. it comes all the way from Canada. So if you mm. love oysters, well, go pay them a visit. They got other stuff as well. Like uh, they got shrimps, they got crabs, they got lobsters. Okay, so go check them out. And also, we want to give a shout out to Grooveroo.sg. Now, it's a uh, baby wearing dance classes. So, mm. mummies, daddies, you know, you can dance with your babies. It's really awesome. It helps you bond nice. with your child, mm. right? And the uh, dance instructor, she's really awesome. So, they're having classes throughout the week. So, go check them out. It's Grooveroo.sg. Yeah. Yes, sir. Mm. Okay, so today is all about. Okay, I don't know whether is it wrong to call them mates or you forget it, one more thing, bro. What? Your uh the Zoom meeting. Oh yes. Yeah, I I I saw during the pre-show mm -hmm. that you are conducting a Zoom private Zoom meeting with your fans. Yeah, no, it's 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 not fans, but it's people that want to to improve their themselves, their their well-being, you know, their mental well-being. Mm. So. Me as a life coach, yeah. I I've done this breakthrough course, so it's over uh, four weeks. Okay. Yeah. So people can choose whether they want to do it in the morning, whether they do it in the afternoon. I see. And then uh, they get to bring a friend. So the, so the two of them, you know, they become like buddies, and then they motivate each other. Mm -mm. They become each other's uh, cheerleaders. Okay, I see. Right. So so that's what it's all about. I'm gonna. So what's in store for them? Um, you you learn to love yourself. You learn mm. to uh, put behind all the negative events that happen in your life because yeah, true. that holds people back from making the right decisions that they want. Mm. We will go into um, other aspects like the inner child. Yeah. Yeah. And Especially then, this time, right? Yeah. Yeah. Great. And then we'll teach you how to achieve your goals, you know, mm. bit by bit. It's 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 all about reinventing yourself. Mm. Right. So that's what this course that I've constructed is about. Beautiful bro. Oh yes, it is. Beautiful I'm, like me. I'm proud of you, man. Oh thank you. Yeah. For once, I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to call you a very mean name, but I cannot do it on, on air. I'll do it off air later. Hey, why not, man? <laughs> let's stretch it out. <laughs> WWE style. Yeah. Okay, let's on to the show, bro. Okay. So, the the app that we have for you today, it's mm. all about... Um, yeah, so I was saying earlier, I don't know whether... Is it taboo? Like, should, should, is it okay to call them mates? I think... I think now is they are called domestic helpers. Helper, yeah, yeah. yeah. foreign domestic helper. Okay, mm. 
Uh, so yeah, these these helpers, and then there have been a lot of cases where people feel that they brought black magic into their home. Mm. Um, they brought stuff where, like wherever they're from, right? If they're yep. from Indonesia, they bring it here. And I think their culture, it is to protect themselves. Mm. Yeah, because they don't really know any better. And then that itself changes the the dynamics at home, right? Because if you bring in an entity True. into someone's house, then a lot of bad things can happen. So I'm going to share mm. with you examples a little later on. Mm-mm. Yeah, and then this man next to me, he's had his own experience at home. Yeah. Mm. A True. very unforgettable experience. Yeah. yeah. Okay, mm. so we'll find that. Uh, we're going to speak to him and, later. Uh, later, yes. Yeah. Yes. All right, so now we're going to go on to terrifying trivia. Mm, right? Nice. But, but today, what we're going to do is a little different. Mm. I'm going to read to you some stuff that I found on Asia One because AsiaOne.com did yeah. a, a really nice article and mm. also helps that I love them a lot. Mm. So the first story in this article is of a family of four in Singapore mm. that discovered something fishy when they realized that many of their valuables were missing. Wow. So they suspected that their Indonesian made, mm. but they also lacked evidence. Mm. Initially, she seemed like a nice person and she cooked a lot of yummy dishes for the family. And all was well until the maid was caught having sex with a Bangladeshi worker in the house when no one was at home. Okay. So after that, the family did a search in her bedroom mm-hmm. and they found all the, the jewelry that was missing. They, they found it in her room. Mm-hmm. And they also found something strange. Now, there was a tray of black pigeon eggs underneath her bed. Black. Pigeon eggs. Yeah, I how, don't know. I don't know why they say it's pigeon. You know creepy. how creepy is that, man? Yeah, and but it was black. <laughs> and then the family called the police, and the maid was arrested. She confessed to casting a black magic spell using these eggs. Oh my god! Yeah, and that's not the the end of it, okay? Mm. Because it says here, soon all the members of the family fell very sick. Mm-hmm. The mother slipped into a coma, and this left the doctors puzzled. The family hired a Taoist to get rid of the evil spell and then after that, everything was okay. Wow. Mm. And then there's another story in the article. Mm. And this happened in 2017. Mm. A Singaporean woman, her name is Daya. Mm-hmm. Or is it, is it Daya? D-I-A. D-I-A. Dia. Dia. Yeah. Okay. Dia went online with some scary stuff. Uh, she posted close to 100 tweets. And... These tweets were about things that happened in a house. And it's after the family hired their helper. Mm. Okay. So to summarize the long story, they also had an Indonesian maid. Mm. And her behavior was was rather strange. Okay. She hardly ate or talked. The only person that she would speak to was her father. And mm. she all she ate was rice, salt, and garlic. But she would only have this meal once a week. I see. Yeah. So the other six days, she won't eat. Mm, mm, mm. And she kept asking Dia, is it Dia? Dia. Dia. Yeah, uh, if she wanted to eat, even at odd times, like three o'clock in the morning, which mm. so happens to be the witching hour. Mm-hmm. And when Dia refused, the mm. maid would look upset. And wow. then things got creepy when Dia woke up once in the wee hours of the morning Mm-mm. to find a pair of red eyes staring at her from the foot of her bed. Oh my God. And then one day, on the fifth day of a period, okay, her menses, mm. Dia came home to a weird smell. She found her maid squatting with a bag of her used pads in the toilet. <sighs> Things cannot get any stranger, man. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I think it will. I think it will. So, uh, she yelled at, at the maid to ask her what she's doing, but mm. the maid only laughed at her. Wow. And then, Dia and her mom took the bag from her Okay, they threw it away and they demanded to see the maid's belongings to make sure that she hasn't taken anything else from the house. Mm. And what they found mm. was Dia's hair in an envelope wow, and a cut-up picture of her parents. Oof. So, based on this, I think she wanted uh, Dia's parents to, to get divorced. And she wanted to make her move on that. Yeah. Mm. And then more weird stuff started happening and they sent the maid home. So the family continued to be spooked. Soon mm. after, Dia's mother revealed that she was disturbed. Mm-mm. I don't know by, by what, they, it doesn't say. Mm-mm. But she was getting migraines and she couldn't sleep well because she felt someone sitting on her. Wow. And Dia's sister also took a photo of a strange white figure Mm-mm. outside her bedroom window. Wow. 
Okay, so Asia One has listed some common methods of black magic used by our by these helpers, okay? Mm-hmm. And they are talking about helpers from Indonesia. Mm-hmm. The first one, the first method that they use is that they mix the menstrual blood into the employer's soup. Wow. Is there a photo that you can show? No, huh? no photo. I don't know. I, I gave you a whole lot of photos, but you've not yeah. even put them up yet. Yeah. Let me let me show one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this, this you're referring to this one, right? I, I don't know what this guy is doing. I think he's just drinking like kambing soup or something. Oh, cannot be kambing soup, bro. Kambing soup cannot be cannot be uh, cursed, man. <laughs> you never know. Yeah, man. But it's very creepy, lah. If they start to uh, pro- uh approach from this angle, you know. Yeah. Mm. Um. The second method, mm. right? They mix urine, right? Their their urine into the employer's food, and sometimes they spit into the food. Wow. Yep. Mm. Um, the third one here is that they send the employer's photo and hair back home to get mm. a witch doctor to cast spells on them. So maybe Mm-mm. what uh, Diaz made was going to do was yeah. I think she was going to send the photos and and the hair back to mm. to whatever Bomo there is in Indonesia. So is she going to uh, opt for DHL to send back or what? <laughs> <laughs> It'd it, it be very weird, right? In a in a parcel, there will be a strand of hair, yeah, or you know, multiple strands of hair. Exactly, it's very weird, uh. very weird. Um, another one here is using fingernail clippings to make a charm potion. I uh, I've heard of this one though. Hmm. Yeah, like if you want to go to a bomo yeah. and um, you wanted to put a spell on on just say the person that you love, but then mm. she doesn't love you back, mm-hmm. so you can either give them hair or nail clippings. Oh, okay. The fifth one here is casting a spell on the rice container. I think this one is called um, nasi kangkang. Is it? Yeah. Uh, I think so. Oh, nasi um, kangkang is when you're cooking the rice and then they it, will squat I, I, over. I don't want to be explicit here, but uh, to describe further on nasi kangkang, I think from what my knowledge on this right is that the maid would uh. Okay, not maid. Her uh, um, oh, a female. A female. Sorry, okay. a female. Not not just the maid. Any female can do it, or even male, I guess. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I think uh, more specific to the female. So uh, 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 a woman w- uh, would spread her legs, right, and then right below her, in between the legs, she put uh, uh, the rice that she gonna cook. Mm-hmm. Then is uh, the warp. I mean the the steam, the steam, the yeah. steam and the warp, right? Would rise up the- to her her vaginal areas, right? Yeah. And it will provide, a a, and it will it will condense and become water, right? Mm-hmm. And the droplets of water will drop onto the 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 bowl or even the the rice cooker, mm-hmm. okay? And uh, they they say that that particular water is is the is the portion, uh. right? <laughs> is the magic portion okay. to attract the opposite sex, right? How okay. how weird is that, man? Mm-hmm. And the last one on the list. Thank you for sharing, though. <laughs> I don't know. I may I I may be wrong on this. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like I wasted like two minutes of my life. <laughs> <laughs> the, the last method here is stuffing underwear under the employer's pillow. Wow. Yeah. Whose underwear? The the, the woman underwear lah. Yeah, of course. Oh. Yeah, it can't be anybody else, right? Cannot be. Uh, cannot be <clears throat> a, a a guy's underwear. What? Okay. <laughs> cannot be you know I mean okay Smelly, so man. so those are all all the methods right yeah. if you guys at home if you feel that it is applicable to you because you have got a foreign a domestic helper yeah uh, maybe you know you might want to check out some of these but then then again don't become paranoid because paranoia you know leads to you making a lot of stupid decisions sometimes yeah, yeah. a lot of stuff is just coincidence you know mm. yeah true you have a, a helper right you just got one yeah Uh, I think I, I I'll be more cautious. Yeah. Be more uh, wary, mm-hmm. right? Uh, probably I will check her belongings after this. No, <laughs> don't do that, man. It's all about trust. <laughs> But I think yeah, uh, things would never happen if it if it's uh it's been it's been destined to happen. I believe lah. You know what? Okay, if 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 a person might have bad intention towards you, yeah. right? If it If the if the whole universe doesn't allow that to happen, it would it wouldn't happen. 
So go back to your positive energy as a person, lah. Yeah. Right. If you're a person that always uh, being very positive in life and always uh, express your positivity yeah. towards others, uh, I believe, yeah, man, the the chances of you being inflicted by all this, yeah, there there is a certain percentage, but due to your positivity, right? Of course. All this negative uh, energy might repel mm-hmm. or might not reach you. Yes, I agree. So no matter how strong their witchcraft is, right? So if it doesn't, if the universe doesn't allow that to happen, it will never happen. Yes. Mm. <laughs> They are just waste another two minutes of your time. I was gonna fall asleep. <laughs> oh to man, be honest, I've got lack of sleep. I can't believe you said that, man. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, I'm kidding, Indra. Okay, I'm kidding. Hashtag jokes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's wondering what the hell is happening. Yeah, he's enjoying himself, though. <laughs> no? Of course, of course. He's like, okay, uh, uh, let them continue talking so they don't start asking questions. Yeah, mm. talking about questions. Okay, for the viewers right, who are watching live right now, if you do have question during our haunted our podcast, please, please, right, uh, fill in your question right at the comment section below. Yeah. Yeah, do it now so that we can, uh, or maybe I, I don't think yeah. I want him to answer anything today. Please, I want to answer, please. <laughs> you waste minutes of your life. Um, yeah, ask them and then, uh, you know, I will answer them mm. in the Q&A segment that will yeah. come up later. Yes, sir. Mm. Okay, so now we're going to go on to our segment. Something that I love, it's called Real or Fake. Yep. All three of us here and even you watching, you get to have your opinion and then, you know, we can read. Yep. Your comments. So this video, let me do the the segue. Mm. Uh, this video is of a CCTV footage mm. that someone took of their helper mm. here in Singapore. It's in a HDB flat. Wow! And apparently, the uh, helper is possessed. So this would, would happen, I think, every day. Mm. And um, they were freaking out, of course. Mm. But I I want you to watch this and, and then you let me know mm. whether you think it's real or fake. Here right. we go. Hey, what's he doing on the screen? Wrong. Okay. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Mm. Real or fake? Right, so you see this. Uh, this apparently is a helper. Oh, she looks really freaky though. With long hair. Yeah, imagine waking hey. up. And then she points. Wow. She points to the window. Mm. And then it go back to her. And then she's bobbing. And she's pointing somewhere else, yeah. I think. Mm. And she walks. Um, her posture itself, you know, she looks hunched back, and then now yeah. she's looking. She looked up the camera for a while. I cannot imagine, right, living in a house and then not not just my helper, but anybody mm. in my house behaving like that. That would seriously freak me out. Now she's turning around, and then later on, you're gonna see another part of this where she would be lying on the floor, Mm-mm. and yeah. So the family has has encountered this like throughout. Is there anyone? Is there anyone in this in the house when while while she's doing this? I think so. I think they're all hiding in the rooms. Oh my god! Yeah. And then she's she's still pointing. Pointing, yeah, yeah. yeah correct. So I don't know if there are eh. uh, other things. Okay, so now they're cut, and mm. then she's sitting on the floor now. In a very weird, very weird position, eh? Yeah. I mean, that got to hurt somehow, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then now she's, she's lying down. Yeah. I think she's tired. Uh. Oh my god. Hmm. So creepy, man. Creepy. Do Do you all think this could be a mental thing? Could it be she really is possessed? Let's start with you, Indra. I don't know, man. Uh, the video looked pretty real for me, man. Pretty real. Uh, first of all, this kind of thing we we I I think no one would want to fake or no one would want to like play around mm-hmm. of being possessed because it's it's not something that it's not something that uh. Uh, I would say uh, pleasurable to watch or even to experience that, but uh, I don't think so. She, uh, she's she's faking, but by, judging by her posture, mm-hmm. right, and looking at the way she hunch her back. Yeah, that is really creepy, man. For a normal human being to hunch her back that that manner, I mean, I don't know. Uh, yeah, you have to be like, you have to be have uh, you 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 would have like bone problems, man. Exactly right yeah, in yeah. the long run. Yeah, correct. Yeah. What's your take on that, man, bro? I don't know. Let's ask our guest. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Sirhan. I can I can talk now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
judging from I mean from the experience I had before which mm. I will tell you guys later mm. um I see it's real the video mm. yeah mm. especially the pointing because that that was exactly what uh my helper did huh. yeah Oh really? Yes. So I mean, yeah, we we will get more uh, info yeah. and insights on that. But the way they point, she points. Mm. Uh, yeah, the way she moves. But if you see it from the video uh, just now, right? The the way that she points, when upon when she points straight, right? Her 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 whole right arm was literally like parallel to the ground, man. Mm. Like very mm. straight, man. Yeah. I don't know if you notice. Yeah, I, I, I'm wondering what she was pointing to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, is there something else that she's seeing? Mm. Is she talking to to entities that are in the house? Mm. Yeah. I, I don't know, man. I, I, I watched it and I thought to myself, like, why would someone fake that? Especially knowing that you don't know whether your your employer is watching this yeah. on on the CCTV. Are they are they even going to bother about this? Yeah, so, yeah correct. And then I, if, if, I'm, if I'm the employer, I'm going to be freak, freaking out, man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Especially if I have kids and elderly, you know, they 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 are going to be freaking out, man. I just had a funny thought. What, What if you go home tonight and then it's no, 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 well, no. Take that thought away from you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm staying alone, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, without a mate. I I live with a mate, man. You know, <laughs> what if I come home then there's a mate there? Oh, oh. wow. Wow. That is a spiritual mate, man. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, start calling you guys. You better come here. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, uh, uh, for those who have a helper, please do not freak out upon watching this or hearing this podcast. Yeah. Um, that man, is not our intention. Yeah, that's not all. our intention, but it's for us to also create awareness that there's possibility of this kind of thing happening yeah. within mm-hmm. our communities. For sure. Yeah. So be wary and be thoughtful and be mindful. Right when you approach these kind of uh, topics, <laughs> <laughs> I stare Not, at you, bro. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. Um, yeah, be, because mm. you know, at the end of the day, yeah, a lot of us, well, we can go out to work and you know we can go and do all the stuff that we want to do because based on the fact mm. that we Singapore as a country, we yeah. really depend on these helpers, mm. right? So don't go all nuts and and um, you know start accusing them of of doing stuff because that's really not cool that mm. i think we are better than that yeah singaporeans are really better than that one thing i want to highlight here mm. since we are talking about helper being possessed and then looking at uh not judging but looking at that video just now uh i believe a uh, majority of helpers when especially um, new fresh domestic workers who come come into singapore and uh-huh. work, I believe during their first year, they might they might uh, experience a certain amount of uh, homesick. I would say, and then uh, they would experience a certain amount of uh, uh, I would say stress level. Yeah. So all that probably might accumulate for her to have a mental uh, breakdown. Yeah. True. Yeah. I, I mean, when they come here, they don't have friends. Mm. A lot of them don't have. You know, relatives, the, the support system. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, and True. I, I cannot imagine, right, being them. Mm. Yeah, I've I've gone overseas to work. You know, I worked on a on a cruise ship, not oh. knowing anyone. And then, but mm. within that day, I can make friends. Yeah, and then I can hang out with my friends. But then mm. they can't True. because they're stuck in in your house. Which one thing, language barrier, mm-hmm. language barrier, culture in terms of social aspect. I mean, probably back in their country. Yeah, third world country is not as sociable like Singapore. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you hear something yeah. in your headphones? Yeah. Uh, by the way, downstairs, right? Downstairs, there's, pe- there's people playing sepak takraw. Oh, <laughs> damn it, man! I freaked out for a while. Yeah, man. Don't uh, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> don't don't be freaked out. If but I, I don't think so. The viewers can hear. Oh, yeah. Well, only our, we can hear. Our audio, I, I believe, like, I believe. Our audio, I have cut off uh, a certain amount of like uh, residue of uh, background noise. Okay. So if you did hear, I think it's just the balance of it. Uh. All right. <laughs> um, did anybody leave any comments yet on Facebook? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, okay. Whether it's real or fake. Okay. I will read out the comments. Uh, hey, Joanna Ash, say hello, Indra and Noel Boyd. Hey. Hello, Joanna. <laughs> Uh, uh, Daniel Ali Hey GFS Hey Daniel Ali Okay everyone just say hello uh, Are you all uh, actually Commenting on the fake uh, Real or fake video Okay Ramona Siddiq 
He said, oh my God, looks scary. Your wow. voice. <laughs> What's up with your voice? No lah. I, I, I just <laughs> exaggerating only. Okay, Pau Gonzalez. Uh, he said that, uh, oh, I can relate to this. I mean, I can relate. Uh, I think that's your friend, right? Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay, this one a bit weird. Okay, top fan from uh, Joseph Dakota. Yeah, the brother from Australia. Yeah, that's me after five beers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you you're weak, man. Five beers and you're like that. No, five beers, you 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 just you just uh, cruise around, man. Yeah. Or, or probably pee 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 at the sideways, man. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing, bro. <laughs> no, not not me, lah. I'm not referring to me. I'm I'm doing in general. But I think tolerance level for 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 a person to take their alcohol, I think should be very high, ah. Huh? Depend on individual. Yeah. Mm. Mine is high. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Paul Gonzalez again. I remember a scene from Mediacorp movie, The Maid, wherein one maid was possessed then jumped off. Oh, yeah. That, that, that movie sh- is by Kelvin Tong. Oh. Yeah, also titled The Maid. Wow. wow. Yeah, was it The Helper? The Maid, The Helper, The Maid, The Helper. Yeah, whatever. Mm. But it's by, by Kelvin Tong. It's actually a really good movie. Really? Yeah. Wow. Okay, we have an, uh, we have a few more. Uh, and uh, Wati, what up, Noel? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Uh, Renu Kapoor, don't you think these helpers are vulnerable because they are already in stressful environment? Yeah, I agree. Just now yep. we just mentioned about this. Exactly. Yeah, uh, I agree with uh, Renu Kapoor because uh, again, uh, again they are away from their uh, their home country. They don't know anyone here. Mm-hmm. So they might go through that certain level of stress. Lah. Yeah, mm. most definitely. Mm. Okay. Um, are we ready to move on to the interview or do you have more stuff to read? Because uh, you, okay. you read really slow. Okay, last one. Mm. Last one. Okay. Renu Kapoor again. Aren't these entities attracted to troubled souls? Yeah, true. Yeah, um, mm. all the time. If, if you're very negative or you're going through a tough time, right? Mm. You are a magnet to, to entities, whether they're good or bad. Yeah. Uh, because they were just latch on to you and then feed off all the negative energy. Mm, yeah. True, true. Yeah. Okay. I, I, think, I think that's about it for, for, for the, yeah, for the I, comments. I, I really think mm. that Renu was asking a question for the Q&A segment at the end. Oh, but, really? Yeah? But you just read it. Oh, sorry, man. But anyway, please ask again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> please ask, ask more questions. Okay, right? Renu asked another question. Mm. Okay, I want to speak to our guest. I, mm. um, I've known him for about a year now, right? Mm. He's a really good actor. Yeah. Um, that's how I, I got to know him. Mm-mm. And he's very passionate about what he does. And, you know, he's an entertainer as well, right? We'll speak about that at the end of it. But what I want to ask you is, at what age did these paranormal activities start for you? Oh, okay. I think it goes way, way back when I was young. Mm. Yeah. Um, I think when I was teenager, even before about 10, 11 years old. Okay. But I, I guess at that point of time, I don't really know what that was. I mean, I wasn't into that mm. until much, much later than I realized. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Because uh, previously I was, uh, I won't say whether it's blessed or cursed or, you know, or Mm-mm. what, uh, with, yeah. with a third eye. Oh. Yeah. So I was able to see mm. until, you know, uh, one point of time when, uh, I was going back home about 1 a.m. Okay. I was going back home. Then I see one lady walk past me. Mm. That was normal, normal person. Okay. You know, like, and continued walking. Then s- s- this, another woman walked past me and it's exactly the same one. Huh. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Two times. Can you see the face? Yeah, yeah. Can yeah. see the face. Clear. Then the third time, I saw her again. And suddenly her head turned, look at me and smiled. I ran. <laughs> I think I ran faster than a cheetah. Wow! In yeah. what way? In what way that that she smug at you? Okay, so mm. like, can you show? Wow! Mm. I can really remember. That means she tilt her. Yeah, head she just from she the just walk. She mm. just walk while walking. She she glanced. Uh, she glanced mm. to the Let's left. Uh. Wow! So I ran back home. I knock on the door, screaming. You know, wow. and all that. Yeah. Then uh, this weekend, then I went. Um, Uh, in Malaysia and uh, I mean realized that mm. then uh, I realized that my th- third eye was open okay mm. so yeah got it closed but um, even though it's closed I can still sense sense feel mm. the presence mm. you know 
uh, yeah, you not only sense the presence. I know whether it's a, a man, a girl, oh, uh, young, wow. old, and all that. And I can really feel where they are, basically. And still, where did this happen, though? Like, was it at um, like your family's home or? Yeah, my my parents' home. Where in mm. Serangoon? Serangoon. Yeah. Like Little India kind of. Serangoon? No, 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 no. Serangoon North. Ah, so, okay. Yeah. Cannot name the blog, ah. Huh? <laughs> yeah, no, no. Okay. Can't name, yeah, name the blog. Yeah. Like, gonna get a lot of trouble <laughs> again. No. Cannot name the blog. Cannot name the avenue also. Yeah. Yeah. You, you could though. Ah, uh, which avenue? Serangoon hmm? North Avenue. It's the avenue new five. one, ah. Uh, avenue four. Avenue, avenue four. four. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So I wonder whether anybody staying there now would still see her. I mean, if her soul is still lost and you know mm. she's still mm. wandering around, then yeah. Wow. <clears throat> yeah. That's why I'm, I'm. I'm not sure, but but the the weirdest part is yeah. when I reach home. I went, oh, my parents opened up the door. I ran up, mm. uh, washed up, and all that. Yeah. I went to bed, and suddenly when I was lying on the bed, mm. there was something on my bed. It's a small bird beside Ooh. you, or what? Yeah, I beside. just <laughs> lie down. I I don't know how the bird got there. Wow. Yeah, so I just released the bird. You know, small, just a small bird. And. I was, uh, No, I I can't explain it, lah. What what color was the bird? Oh, I can't remember. I think it was green. Something. Right, wow. yeah. because I found a little green bird in my house once. So I think this was shortly after we moved in. Right, mm. I'm staying at Bukit Batok, <clears throat> um, and then we found uh, I found this uh, little green bird in mm. the bathroom, and mm. we had no idea how the bird got into the house. Yeah, but everything yeah. was closed. Yeah, yeah, and I found it just before my cats. Uh, mm. Stumble upon the bird because they were very excited. What I was mm. wondering why the cats were so excited, and then, yeah, it was this little green bird. Wow! Mm. Yeah. I didn't really look the significant on on, on the green bird. Like. Yeah, but the but your green bird, Noel. <laughs> Sorry, my green bird. <laughs> Sorry to put it in that my manner. Love. Okay, uh, I, I'm not. I have no intent to be very explicit mm. here. But your green bird, okay, uh, that 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 your cat saw. Right? <laughs> Do you manage to catch it or what? <laughs> Why are you laughing, bro? No, no. Uh, uh, yeah. So, what about my my green bird? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nah, I, I would love to see your green bird. <laughs> <la>. <laughs> okay. No. No. But do you manage to catch the green bird? Yeah. So yeah. I brought it downstairs and I I released Release it. it. Yeah. Uh, mm. Why you never keep it? <laughs> what? Yeah. No. No. Because I I've never never been into birds anyway. Mm-hmm. Right. Like. When I worked in the Singapore Zoo, mm. uh, I remember like my first week, no, the first month, mm. uh, and then I had to look after cockatoos and all. But hey, I never liked it. Like birds uh, are just not my thing. Mm. Yeah, mm. but birds doesn't represent any paranormal entities, right? I don't know. I, I don't know whether Do there's they? a link yeah. now, right? Because I yeah. had this green bird in my house. He yeah. had a green bird. Like green birds are not very very common anyway. Wow. Yeah. True. It's very rare. Yeah. Very rare. Mm. Mm. Strange. Okay, so yeah. from a bird, we're going to talk about a cat. Let's go. Yeah, because he's got a, a really cool cat that mm. reminds me of the cat that I used to have. And your cat name is Mika, right? Okay, uh, his name, a full name actually is Mikael. Mikael. Mikael, the oh, angel. Wow. Ah, yeah, okay. name after the angel. Yeah. yeah. And and he's a very special cat because, I, I mean, I believe that all animals can see Uh, these dead things, or, mm, yeah. or or whether it's a demon or what they can see, but this cat is very protective of you, right? Yeah. Um, mm. Have you had Mika since it was um, a little kitten? Okay. Um, this thing happened right uh, when the the incident with my uh, domestic helper mm. happened. So um, I've always loved cats, even okay. when I was staying with my parents. I have cats, and I know that cats are a sense a, a source of of um. What you call it? Protect, love. protector. Yeah, mm. love and all that. So, um, so at that point of time, I told uh, my ex-wife, you know, because right now I'm divorced. So mm-hmm. at that time, you know, we were still married. So, um, I told my my mm. ex-wife like, hey, let's get a cat. Maybe the, you know, I uh, can protect. So mm. I went on a search. Really, I went on a search. Uh, rather than go to the shops or buy and all that. Yeah. So I went on a search for stray cats. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So I got a couple of cats, and there were some incidents that happened to those cats. Like one ran away, one jumped down, uh, with for no reason, and you know, until I found this little kitten mm. in uh, Marine Parade. Okay. 
all all trapped because I was looking for a kitten there okay. and, and and I heard a meow mm. and there's a huge plank uh, okay. covering you know, the wall and the kitten was inside stuck uh? yeah mm. and I I can I, I mean I, I squeezed myself in mm. at that time I was like uh, quite slim lah <laughs> well, you are still on. Uh, no. no. You are so, still on. Uh, no. We were all once. Yeah. Yeah. So I squeezed myself in, yeah. you know, to mm. rescue this kitten. Okay. Yeah, that's that's why I I, I brought him back. Mm. Um and yeah, uh and took care of him. Mm. So at that point of time, um I, I mean, I talk to to cats to you know, to often to, cats, to mm. my you know especially to this mika mm. um so i told him like okay um at that time i had a daughter mm. and another one on the way okay so i told him to you know take care take care of uh, my daughters lah okay. you know, take care mm. like your very own sister i see and he really did mm. yeah so at that point of time mm. uh, when mika was introduced to the house i think Whatever entity is there, mm-hmm. it's like you know, not say gone, but stayed away. Right. Yeah. There's no more disturbances and all that. Mm. Yeah. And amazingly, for this uh, kitten, mm. for Mika, um, usually cats, you know, they want to play. They start biting. They start scratching yeah. and all that. All right. So they they don't. He he doesn't do that to my daughters. Because mm. I guess when I had that so-called talk with yeah. with Mika, I said, yeah. "Take care of these two, mm. right? So don't harm them." So he doesn't, doesn't. Right, right. Yeah. Mm. So so yeah. At that point of time, he's protected. So when when you say that previous cats right jump down, yeah. Uh, I think because what what, what causes the distress uh, of I your think, previous cats? I think uh, I had a feeling that uh, that and maybe one of the entity pushed one of the cat down. Mm. Mm. What kind of entity that you uh, that, that you believe? Um, I think at that point is the one with my helper. Oh, yeah, that time, and I don't know whether it's the helper herself mm. or you know just an entity. So, and another one just ran away. Uh, you know, an, just an entity. You said that here, right? Yeah. Uh, do you, do you have a name for this entity? There's no Paul. Paul. No, I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, we have no, no, because... Pochong, Toyol, yeah. oh, everything, no. right? It's, it's uh, it's just, it's just. A, I think it's just a free spirit or something. Oh, free spirit. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. It could just be like a wandering spirit just passing through your house. Mm. I see. Right. It could have done that, you know. But mm. it, yeah. I, I think if something uh, were to do that, mm. you, you know, to push your cat, it would be something evil. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I. I think at that point of yeah. time, the mm. area that I stayed uh, previously, I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna say where because yeah. uh, um, I mean the person might be listening. <laughs> who, who who stayed there right now? <laughs> <laughs> But uh, which area? Um, which area, area can area is area general. Can. Somewhere, general. Somewhere near Bedok Reservoir. I don't know. Oh, Bedok Reservoir. See, place, it's you know. this area, man. I don't yeah. know what's up with this hey, area. Bedok Reservoir for real. Okay, this is for real. Bedok yeah. Reservoir. I know, I know. So, sorry to interject you, yeah. but Bedok Reservoir is really, really haunted. Mm. Yeah, I I don't want to name the the exact space or place, right? But it's that place is really haunted. I call it the hot spot. Yeah. Where? I cannot name lah. Why okay, not? Like like Bedok Reservoir. Okay, Bedok Reservoir near probably like 600 plus near the MRT station. No, no, no. It's further away. MRT station is I I think but no. MRT station is near to Bedok. Coming to Bedok North already. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Bedok Reservoir near to the 600 plus. 600 plus. Yeah. Uh, 600 plus there's a lot of blocks uh, so I'm not mentioning any blocks here. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that that area, yeah. Okay. Mm. That's lots, good enough. Lots of story. A lot. Mm. I know. <laughs> <laughs> lots of experiences there. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> so what happened with your helper? Like uh how bad was it? Okay. Um actually uh, we had another helper before, but uh you know, usually um The previous one, you know, I talked to her and all that. Uh, but after that, uh, her contract ended. She went back. Then got this new helper. She's she's quite uh, what do you call it? Helpful. She does her work and all that. But whenever I'm home, I had this sense of like friction. Like you know, I want to look at her, but I can't look at her. I want to talk to her. I can't talk to her. Mm. You know that kind of thing. Yeah. So it's like I'm ignoring her. So I didn't know why. Uh, I have that feeling, so I just ignore. Okay. Um, then first, first of all, sorry. First of all, is your helper beautiful? Not 
<laughs> yeah, then I wanted to ask that, but yeah. not because like I, I'm gata lah. Yeah, you correct, know? correct. Because yeah. sometimes it, it have that kind of effect, no? Yeah, mm. not really. Eh. Not really. Not okay. really. How, yeah. how old is your helper? Uh, f- I think your previous helper. Twenty. Uh, the young ah. Thirty. Yeah. Oh, early thirties ah. Short hair and mm. all that. Okay. Yeah. So until uh, my wife then mm. uh, told me that uh, my eldest daughter at that time I only have uh, one daughter. Yeah, the younger ones on the way. Um, my eldest. Daughter has been crying and been, you know, saying that she's seeing things. Right. Yeah. What did she see? Um, like spirits, uh, and small kids. Uh, wow. s- yeah, uh, running around, and um, she even described one which uh, which looks like a lady, like sp- the body is like a spider with a human head. Human head. Mm. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so she was terrified. Mm. Um, so I thought she had that, you know, that I like mine lah. Yeah, you know. So I and this goes on every day. So I I didn't realize. I, I that time I'm not suspecting the the helper. Yeah. So one point in time we went really really bad. Um, until one point of time, uh, my daughter really cried one night. She really cried. Went to the room. She doesn't want to go out. Mm. And then. And then suddenly I can't move. Then I had that. I still have that feeling. Cannot you move. Know, your legs. My legs. I had that feeling oh. uh, that you know something is holding on to my legs. Then I asked my daughter because mm. I I realized she can see. I said, mm. "Are these things holding on to my legs?" Then mm. she say yes. Your, your daughter. Your daughter say yes. Yes, because she oh she God. can see them. Wow. Uh, then after that, and because they are holding the small ones holding my legs mm. and the big ones holding my shoulder. Wow. So uh, at that point of time, I uh, you know my and I can't move and yeah. uh, my uh, previously my father-in-law yeah. um, did something, said some prayers and you know and I release the, I can move lah. Yeah, release, release the la. demon. Yeah. Mm. So so we cannot take it. Mm. So we call on uh, call for an ustad to okay. come. Ustad so, is by the way sorry uh, for some of our listeners and viewers might not know the term of ustad. Mm. Ustad is a religious teacher within yes. our Muslim community lah. Mm. Yeah, just like Indra. Yeah. <laughs> so so he came. Mm. Then he looked around the house. Then he told uh, the whole family. Yeah. Except for the helper, to sit down. You know, because we had a round table and meeting. Then so yeah, I just sit down there. Mm. Then he asked us to close our eyes. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so at that point of time. I know something was about to happen. I don't know how. Mm. So I I press a recorder. I want to record the whole session. Video. Uh no audio audio audio. Okay. audio. And and I think my wife back then mm. also did the same. Okay. All right. So that that part I will tell tell what happened later. Okay. Okay. So we sat down, close our eyes. Mm-hmm. Right. Then after that, we asked he asked the mate to come out together lah. Mm. You know. But we already clo- uh, eyes are already closed. Then he uh, recite some uh, verses, mm. you know, some Islamic verses. Yeah. Suddenly, out of nowhere, we can hear the maid screaming. screaming. Wow. I open my eyes and I see her on the floor struggling, covering the ears, like um, you know, the movie Poltergeist or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. It's like it's like a a a. a A clip from a movie. Oh man, that's scary shit, man. He was man. screaming and all that. Oh, I was like, what the hell? Wow. <laughs> you know? Then, uh, they would start asking, like, who, who are you? Why are you here? Mm. And all that. Suddenly, you know, she just sat up from lying down. She just sat up. Okay. And like the the, the scene you saw just now, she mm. just point. And you know, she pointed at what? At, at who? who? She pointed at me. Mm. Wow. I was like, okay. <laughs> Then they say it's all his fault. It's my fault. Why? Why is it your fault? Yeah, precisely, they ask, and they start say why. It's all his fault. He's not. He. She told me okay. that I'm not a, being a responsible father. I always come home at night. So come, I working lah. You know. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, you you know, hustle like, for your family, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, correct. Just yeah. Like, you know, pointing and blaming me. Mm-mm. Then she and this entity refused to leave. Uh, The maid's body, uh, oh. yeah, and and they will start keep on reciting okay. verses, hmm. and then suddenly the the maid uh, uh, change voice into uh, and she says that I'm your father, I'm I'm your father. It's like, it's like my my father lah. Your you know, own father. Help me, yeah. Bio- help me. Biological and, and, father lah. Yeah, hmm. I, uh, the voice is a bit 
host, mm. but not really like my father's uh, voice. Okay. You know, asked me to help her. Mm. And at that time, I wasn't that close to my father. But that time, does your father still? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still alive. Still alive. Okay. And, and I was like, ah, I just ignore. Okay. I know she's possessed and all that. Mm-hmm. Then the second time she changed voice, she said that she's my grandfather, the spirit. Oh. And, and it shook me a while because mm. you know why? Yeah. Nobody, she called me by a name that only my late grandfather called me. No one else knew Not even wow. the family knew about that. Uh, the 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 name. So I was like, in a days like what? Then I, what I, name I, is it? Ah, uh, uh, what if if Ifan? Ifan. Oh, Ifan. like like Ifan. That kind of loving name. That yeah, you're and, and and the mm. voice and all that. And I was somehow rather was attracted to the voice and going towards. Uh, huh? Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then the who start that snail? Uh, I mean not intercept. Yeah, intercept. Yeah, and stop me mm-hmm. and all that. Mm. Yeah, so I was I was told that um, this uh, helper she she had a pen penjaga or penunggu or something like uh, 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 what do you call it? Like a caretaker. Guardian, guardian. Yeah, uh, guardian, guardian, guardian. Yes, guardian. Like guardian, looking after her, mm. and it it got woken up. I think because there's other entities in the in the house at that mm. time. Cross path with. Her own guardian. Yes. Okay. Then yeah, it woke I see. up. So I so see. there there are a lot of entities uh, in the house at that time. Um, a lot of history from the uh, previous uh, owners, which we we didn't realize until like mm. you know, uh, we, we were staying in the house about more than five years. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Until then. Yeah. So it was wow. it was yeah for then the audio part after everything yeah. was was okay and yeah. all that. Then I went to check the audio. You play back, ah? Uh? I want to play back. Okay. All I hear was just buzzing sound. Oh wow! And and the recorder mm. works. I okay. tried recording it from the room and all that. It works, but throughout the whole session, it was buzzing sound. Then I asked them, my wife, like, mm. okay, let's test the audio. Hmm. Or no audio at all. Also, her 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 hers audio also, hers her phone also, also buzzing no sound audio. or no audio. No buzzing. It just no completely audio. not. Yeah, no audio. Is there an explanation for this, Noel? Um, I remember we did something at uh, Pasiris Park, the yeah. Suicide Tower. So the first time we went there, yeah, um, we the entire shoot, right? Mm. All we heard was just static sound. Yes, yeah, yes. which never happened before. And yeah. then you know we use really good equipment on on the show, right? Yeah, true, true. Uh, so our Sony cams, yeah, like yeah, just for maybe one and a, no two hours. Mm. All I heard was just. Was just Oh my god! Yeah. Scary man. And then we went back again, but this time it was just my cameraman and I, so it wasn't mm. the whole team because we couldn't get everybody together. So I felt that whatever that was there mm. just wanted us alone. Yeah, they wanted us to come back alone. Okay, do do you think that's a sign that the entity want to talk privately to you? Maybe, or maybe he wants to challenge. I don't know, man. Oh yeah, we don't know the the circumstances of that. Eh? Yeah. yeah, correct, correct. Mm. Yeah, so I I think that's very interesting because if mm. it's just your phone, and then you can say, oh, you know, there's some fault in the app or something, yeah. but then yeah. your wife's your ex wife's phone as mm. well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow, I know that. That, and, and, that is not a coincidence. And, and my recording yeah. is mm. it's not using a phone. It's using a recorder. A recorder. It's a audio very, recorder. Uh, audio recorder. Yeah. Uh, which which is attached to the laptop. You know, mm. wow. lo- laptop software. Mm. So using my laptop, you know, the the music software, you can see those wave, uh, file. wave files mm. and all that, right? It's just mm. nothing. Wow, hey, that's so that's so freaky, man. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I I'm I'm trying to understand from the scientific sci- scientific point of, I mean, from the approach, right? Uh, I mean, sound frequency. I mean, we talk about decibels. Mm-hmm. Even when we are talking right now, if if we record, it record your audio. Yeah. Right. Yeah. To a certain, I I I think if, uh, we need to study this. I don't have the stats. Uh, our human ear, human ear can only listen to a certain frequency, the range. Yep. Right. That's why dogs and uh, other kind of uh, animals, right, they mm. can see and hear uh, the underworld because it it operates under or above that that level of uh, frequency. Am I right to say that or no? Man? Yep. Mm. Definitely, man. So it's very freaky, man. Yeah. Freaky. So mm. what happened to the helper after that? All right, oh. she's on the floor. Uh, uh, she sit up. Then after that, you know, um, the ustad say some prayers mm. and all that until yeah. she's totally. She just 
knocked out. Right. You know, she just knocked out. Then mm. after that, she just woke up and everything's okay. Um, but after that, we, you know, we we cannot keep her already. So we have to, you know, yeah. return back. Okay, so yeah. after you you sent her back to Indonesia, right? Mm. Did anything else happen around the house? Okay, while waiting for her to be sent back, that's where Mika comes in. Right. Oh. Yeah, okay. Mika comes into the picture. That's where I went around to look for, you know, uh, cats so that this mm. thing doesn't happen again. And so, so you have a firm belief that cats can chase away all yes, these entities. Yes. Ah, so, okay. um, what do you call it? Then she went back. Mm. My cat's there, mm. taking care and all that. And the place is like, you know. Cleanse. Cleanse. Not say cleanse. Mm. There are still wandering spirits around. I mean, they are they are around, I believe. Right. Yeah. So, um, but, you know, they don't enter the house. Aggressively, mm. like, previously. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and, And Mika is one uh, adorable. I, yes, mm. he, he he. Whenever he sends something, mm. he just if you see him running around, that means he's either playing with a uh, an entity or chasing it away. Mm. Yeah. Oh, really? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. But I think if if it's too <laughs> because there was was time when 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 I mean now yeah. at the moment yeah. like, he, he's staying with me now. Okay. Uh, because my children is staying with uh, yeah. my wife. Mm. So now. I, my turn to take care of him. He takes takes care of me. Okay. So sometimes he hide when I when I leave the house. Mm. Uh, he hides <laughs> until I come back. Why? So I think he 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 sees too much of this until he's scared. I can't mm. explain why. Maybe. Uh, oh. Um. But recent recently, I think he he starts to. I I, I felt that mm. the, my the place I'm staying is mm. uh clean. Okay. So that's why he starts to stay outside and all mm. that. But only at night. Sometimes uh, when he starts running up and down, yeah. then I know he he's just chasing them away, lah. Yeah. Because there are wandering spirits around who just drop by and mm. all that. Yeah. The, yeah. Like definitely. Yeah. You know, I used to have a cat by the name of Pute. So Pute in yeah. in Malay means white. Correct. And my cat was white. I mean, he's passed on. Oh. Yeah. So um, he's a cat that you know when he mews, you can't hear. Like you mm. just see the mouth opening, closing, opening, closing, because he's he, mm. like apparently he 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 can't mew, right? And he doesn't like to be carried, so I never once carried him. He doesn't like to sit on laps and all. Okay, right? he's not a lap cat. Mm. But um, he was very protective of me. Yeah. Wow. And um, mm. if I were to be sitting in the hall or anywhere, you know, he would come sit, mm. always in in between my my legs. Okay. Yeah. And mm. then he would just stay there, but. Like there will be times like maybe two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, mm. when I feel the energy of the house change. Mm. I know that there's something in the house. Yeah, this cat will become the most vocal cat. Like he will mew, but it'll be very low tones, and then he'll just be going up and down the house. He's just mewing and and and, and mewing. Mm. He'll be trying to get into the bedroom. Yeah, he wants to be with me. Yeah, mm. but I always felt like this cat was my my protector. You know, like wow. he, he didn't let any bad things Happen come to near you. me. Yeah. Mm. yeah. You talk about that, uh, okay. the incident of uh, my uh, domestic helper. Yeah. So we are staying at that time. We are staying on the eleven floor, mm. right? So before all this happened, yeah. You know what happened? Okay. I had visitors mm. in in the sense that cats coming at my doorstep, different wow. cats, like you know, you know, big size cats. Yeah. Uh, a couple of them at my doorstep, then just stay around there, wanting to go in, mm. then. After that, they left, and and strange thing because my 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 flat is a twelve twelve story flat. Yeah, they can actually go up the lift to eleven story and walk. And mine is a corner house. <laughs> they can go to any house, but why my house? Yeah, you know, we we were baffled. The whole family is baffled. So mm. like, why is that cats nowadays and all that? Mm. Then after that, the cats no longer there. Mm. Then that thing happened. So oh. I think it may be a like a warning before before mm. I think so. Yeah. I see. Wow, the the man is a uh, man. This is something real, man. Something real, man. To ponder. Yeah, man. De- de- definitely, definitely, de- definitely, there's something that uh it will uh tra- terrify most uh, uh employers out there, right? Mm. Yeah, man. When, I mean, when, not not all helpers mm. are there. I mean, I I I'm I'm sure that you know helpers from overseas they are scared, like you mentioned. Mm. You know, they their first time here and all hey. that, but they just want to. Take care of themselves. That's why they. Do you manage to caught your previous helper red-handed by by inflicting this uh, witchcraft? No, no. So no. there's no. I think I think it was there's no sign, from... indication, or clear evidence. 
No. Right. It's just assumptions are here. Mm. Yeah, but you know, mm. like I know in Indonesia, right? Yeah. Um, black magic is Prominent. very very common. Yeah. Right. They use it for for almost everything. Mm. So, I, I I'm just putting myself in in their situation, like their family. Yeah. They know that they're going to come here and work there. Possibly going to be like the sole breadwinner because mm. whatever money they earn here, they're going to send mm. home. Yeah. So then they will probably go to to um, uh, some bomo. guy, yeah, mm. uh, the witch doctor, and mm. say, okay, you know, my daughter is going to go to this country. Please make sure that um, she's safe. The employers like her. Mm. Please always mm. make sure that she's safe because if something happens to yeah. her, mm. then we're not going to have any money. Mm. Yeah. Talking about this, right? Um, my friend. Uh, is in the maid agency business lah. Okay, I think she's she's just taking care of her clients because mm. I think the l- thing a lots of clients out there have complained before about maids using all this witchcraft. So what she what so what she normally do as a standard prosti- procedure, right? When the when when the helpers or these foreign domestic workers come to Singapore, the first thing that she do, or, or I mean, the, the the first time when she come into contact with them, mm-hmm. live in person, the first thing that she will do, right, as the maid agency, she would actually inspect uh, her bag and ask the 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 helper or the domestic worker to strip everything from her bag. Okay. If she notice anything, anything fishy, anything like very You no, know, like like voodoo dolls or whatever, or like talisman or whatever, right? She would throw it away, right? So in a way, in a way that she would bring the helper to the client on a very fresh note, nah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. But, but then, um, yeah. you know, there are uh, several things. I mean, it's not just physical things. Sometimes it's implanted inside mm. of them. Okay, yeah. I see. So I think that is in the case of uh, my helper. Mm. Right? Something is inside her uh, being uh, very the spiritual, dormant. The spiritual guide, guide, uh, guardian. Yes. Okay, I see. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. you know, there's something called suso. Right, yeah, yeah. Suso is needles, right? Mm. If you guys don't know what it is, it you implant needles in your body, so your face and and your arms and all, and that's to make you look, um, so you appear good looking, yeah, to Pretty, to everyone. But yeah. then there are things that you can't do now. So this is actually a real thing that happens. I don't know whether it happens here in Singapore, but I wouldn't be surprised because you can go to to Malaysia, you can go to Johor to to get it done. Mm. Yeah, wow. But with a cost, uh. of course, yeah, with a cost, yeah, and. Um, the the cost, I I think there are a lot of things that they can't do. They can't travel like over a bridge, like a bridge over water. Wow. Yeah, like they can't do that. A lot of things they can't do. So mm. yeah, certain food that they cannot eat. Mm. You know? mm. Sometimes, uh, uh, this is not to stereotype any foreign domestic workers who come here with good intention to work and uh, be the sole breadwinner to their families back home. It's, this is not something to judge them. It is something for us to discuss here. I do have uh, f- uh, friends or uh, even relatives, you know, commenting about this. You know, there is some domestic work. I mean, it happened. It happened within our communities. There is some uh, domestic workers out there where their intention to come to Singapore is to seek for a better life. And their way of seeking for a better life is to manipulate people here in Singapore, right. especially mm. their employers. So the first breakthrough for them would be the family of their employers. Yeah. Mm. So they will get into the good books of uh, the wife, the childrens. Mm. As if if there's childrens like small age, you know, young age, mm. they will be in their good books. The in-laws, the parents, whatever. Mm. Yeah. The relatives, right? So that is their strategy. Slowly, they will implant. The the their their spiritual strategy, mm. yeah, right, and their main target would be definitely the husband. Of course, yeah. yeah, right. I think this is this mainly happen in Singapore now. Right, right. Yeah, I I think I I I mean I have a friend. Yeah. Uh, recently, uh, who got a maid. Mm. Um, and the maid is really lazy. lazy. Doesn't want to work okay. and all that. Mm. That's it. Why don't you call the maid or whatever? Mm. I see. and my friend said that, I mean. I am angry with her, but yeah. whenever I'm home, it's hard for me to scold her. Mm. Suddenly the thing change, 
And uh, after that, already, yeah. yeah, and mm. then the contract finishes, mm. then they employ another maid. Yeah. And when the maid was cleaning the room, yeah. the, the the previous uh, room for the yeah. maid, mm. she found a few pieces of books, and 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 inside the book there's there's a there's an envelope, and the envelope is the employer's name. Mm. Yeah. So I think this is used so that you know the whole family. Doesn't scold her. Yeah, that's mm. why she doesn't work. I mean, if she works, it's okay. Yeah, but you know, she's lazy, never do work, no matter what. You know, the, the employer won't scold her. Mm. Yeah, so it's, so so there are cases like that. Yeah, also. Yeah, I I want to quickly point out right. Yeah. So it just came to mind, where uh we've been just talking about Indonesian helpers, right? Yeah. Uh, I want to point out that in the Philippines, yeah, black magic is very strong. They even have like the biggest uh magic festival, where mm. white and black. Um, uh, folks, you know they they gather mm. to show off their skills, and then you as a buyer, mm. you can go around and and you can say, okay, I want your service, I want your your, your services, mm. or you can buy different amulets. Then if you go to Cambodia, mm. the black magic is so strong. Black magic is is so rampant in Cambodia, in mm. Vietnam, you know. So it's not even in some parts in India, yeah. right? I think the strongest black magic in the world mm. comes from um, Calcutta, right? Mm. Where they use the soil from from the grave, they mm. mix it. With oil from the cheek, you know, I, I don't want to go into detail, detail. but mm. um, yeah. So don't just single out the. We cannot single out the Indonesian helpers. Right. I think yeah. that's very important. Yeah. yeah. Wow, we will not get that kind of carnival here in Singapore, ne, bro. Uh, I might organize one. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can make a lot you of money. You have to get a license and approval from the government. Definitely. Of course, yeah. yeah. If you want to do all this, man. <laughs> yeah, or we will just do it online. <laughs> so. If you could turn back time, mm. would you have, um, I don't know, maybe picked a different helper? Do you think, or would you have still say no? I mean, this is a life journey. It's an experience that. I mean, I mean, if I turn back time, I wouldn't know that you know this helper would you know. But with the knowledge, if I go back in time with that knowledge, yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, put uh, those paradox thing like meeting my own self and yeah. all that, then yeah. you know, uh, that aside. Um, I don't know. I But the bottom it, line is, you don't know, man. I I, I don't you know. You will not I, judge I, yeah. a person from the first yeah. experience. I with think them. I think for me, mm. uh, how I feel about this experience is that I I'm not blaming the helper. Mm. It's mm-hmm. not her fault. Yeah, because she's been doing her job mm. well. Only the unfortunate part, I think, uh, something in her uh, clashes with so- something else. Yeah, and that's why yeah. it evokes uh, anger. Yeah, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, that's their way of life as well. Right. You know, so in their eyes, that they're not doing anything wrong, mm. right? Mm. Um, have you had any other experiences that you want to talk about? Oh me, oh okay. yeah. <laughs> 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 well, I mean, talk about experiences. There are many, many kind of experiences huh? and mm. all that. Um, you know, um. Because, like I said, I used to see. Now I just I can just feel yeah. uh, to the point that I can edit, identify the gender and uh, you okay. know what kind and all sorry, that. Sorry to interject you. Yeah. Sorry to inject, mm. interject you. Uh, we do this every time our guests come so okay. into our studio. And yes. I think the question you want to ask Please, is go something ahead, bro. that that ahead, somebody bro. asked as well. Yeah. yeah. I think I know what you're gonna ask. Okay, but you ask anyway. Do you feel anything here yes. in the studio? Yeah. You feel? Yes. Okay. Okay. But first, what kind of uh, presence? Or spiritual presence that you feel here. I think this one on my right. Mm-hmm. I don't know whether you know. Yeah, it's mm. one there. Just watching. Um, What kind of thing that is? Is I mean, it's, it's just it's just normal spirit. Ah, oh. yeah. Um, male figure, female figure. Oh, actually, I can't. Uh, first time I can't. Mm. Because, yeah. Um, because usually I can I can identify the gender and all that. Uh, oh. but I think I must I must be at at this place quite some time in order to identify. You, you must break the ice first, lah. Yeah. yeah. Because I I, I remember at that time I mm. went uh, for a holiday and I stayed in mm. Jak- uh, Jakarta. Okay. I went into uh, the what do you call it? Room, the hotel, hotel room. Yeah. I felt something was not right, mm-hmm. and in order for me to really know, mm. I, I I asked at the time my girlfriend mm. to switch off all the lights. 
Yeah. Wow. So switch off the all the lights. Then I I, I took off uh, the thing uh, the pendant which is uh, protecting me. Mm. Uh, then I can really identify and know lah. Oh. And all right. That. So yeah. Wow! And, wow! Yeah, but for but today, for for today, for I when, when I first entered mm. this studio, mm. uh, I I sent something. Mm. Uh, that's why I was negative. I was a bit like you know. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know whether you guys felt it or I mean, yeah. it's your studio, mm. but yeah, I really felt something here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And nice. all that, and and right now it's on my my right side. Yeah, mm. you know when <laughs> when we started the show. Yeah. And I, th- well, the the first one that we did the first app in yeah. the studio. A lot of things went wrong mm. because I think it was just being very mischievous and uh, I will always remember that day, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> it's something that doesn't make sense. It's a it's a night where for me when I when I recollect the moments, right? It doesn't make sense, bro. Yep. Totally doesn't make sense. The audio was cut off. The 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 the, the camera was cut off. Yeah. Everything was connected well, but mm-hmm. it's cut off. Yeah. 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 And it is is a she. Yep. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and it's uh, okay. <laughs> okay. All but, right. But but it's 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 it won't cause problem. It's mm. it's a friendly one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a friendly one. Just a bit mischievous sometimes. Yeah, mischievous. But, yes, yeah. you know. Good to know. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay. I yeah. think we should cut to our paranormal paranormal popcorn. I always have problems with the double P's, man. <laughs> yeah. So paranormal popcorn with my wife Gabby. Yeah. She's gonna review this. Awesome movie that's on Netflix called The Maid. Mm. Hey everyone, it's Gabby, and today I'm going to be giving you another oh. serving of paranormal popcorn. This week I watched a movie called The Maid. It's uh, released in 2020, so just last year, and it's a Thai film. So not to be confused with the Singaporean one of the same name. It's also horror, but not the one that I'm going to be talking about today. The one I watched was directed by this guy called Lee Tong Kam. So. Like I said before, it's in Thai. I had really high expectations because, as we all know, like Thai horror is way up there with being absolutely terrifying. So the premise of the maid is about this teenager called Joy, and she applies to be a domestic maid in a mansion, a huge mansion. It's a really beautiful house. And what happens while she's a maid is she's haunted by a spirit. Now that's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna say whose spirit, what spirit. I'm not gonna give away any spoilers. Go watch it. Um, I did enjoy parts of it, but I will say it does take a while to build up. Um, it kind of like drags you on different paths and like gives you different information that you're not really sure what to do with. And there is an animal at the very beginning of the film that until now I still can't kind of figure out why it was there. When you watch it, you'll know what I mean. It's entertaining nonetheless, but. Very strange and quite out of place, but maybe there is a backstory behind it. I tried to find research on it, but it's quite difficult. Although I will say that um, maybe it was a a hidden Easter egg or something, you know, for a future film. Um, so the the lead actress who plays the mistress of the mansion, her name is Savika Chayadej. I do hope that that is the right way to pronounce it. Her nickname on things like social media and Instagram is. Pinky Savika, so that is easy for me to remember and easy for me to say. Um, she was amazing. Like she has this very like commanding presence, and she's got that you know like resting bitch face. And I know if I were working for her, I would be terrified. So she did an amazing job as the mistress of the house, right? The lady of the house, rather. And um, the the teenager or the the young girl who plays Joy, she showed quite a very Remarkable character development towards the end. Also, not going to give away anything, but I did get um American Psycho kind of vibes. There's a little bit of blood, a little bit of carnage, without giving away too much, and the twist is fairly satisfying. I will say that. So stick around, like push on through, don't give up just because the start is a little bit slow. It will get better, trust me, and it's worth it. So go watch it. It's on Netflix, and let us know what you think. So I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, that's my wife. Yeah, yeah. Um, have you watched this movie? No, the maid. Uh, what about you? I don't watch horror movie. Ah, ah. Mm. surprising. I've, I've, I've seen a lot of real ones, so I don't need uh, yeah. to watch <laughs> exactly right. Yeah, I, I I first watched this on Netflix, and I just mm. thought it was amazing because the the shots and all were just so nice. Um, mm. yeah, and mm. there's this um. No, I'm not going to talk about it. Yeah, but it's a really good movie. Do not spoil it again <laughs> for the viewers. Yeah, they should almost. They should watch themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 
Um, okay, so we're for the, the Q&A segment. Yeah. yeah we're going to do this real quick. All right. Okay. Uh, Pau Gonzalez, are you used to seeing these entities now or you still get scared seeing them? I think this is referring to Serhan. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, okay. You want to answer this? Um, I, I, like, like I mentioned, I don't see anymore. I hmm. just uh, feel and sense. Um, now, I'm, I mean, now that I know its existence, hmm. um, I just treat it casually. So if I feel it, no, I just say, oh, look, I'm hmm. going to do my work here. Or, yeah. or, you know, you don't disturb me. I don't disturb you. Yeah. True. Yeah. And if, if the thing disturbs me, I'm, I get pissed off. I Sometimes I just scream at it. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And then, yeah, it goes away. Okay. Underwati, uh, there's w- one question here. Maybe they bring some kind of protection. I yeah, think yeah. Referring to the mates. Uh. Yeah, mm. I, I think it, that's exactly it. To them, it's mm. their personal protection. Mm. We just look at it in in a different way because mm. it is not normal for us. You yeah. know. But then it is normal for some people. But yeah. I think majority of Singaporeans, yeah, this is not normal. You know, we don't go to which doctor to get protection. Right. Yeah. Okay, we have a very interesting uh, comment here by Ramona Sidik. Mm-hmm. Just now we were mentioning about uh, green birds, right? Both of you. Mm-hmm. You relate your story. So yeah. she was uh, stating that fortune tellers use little green birds to pick their cards. Oh, yeah. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. Wow. I've, I've seen this at Little India. Wow, amazing, yeah. man. So it's a parrot, right? Mm. That they'll pick up the the cards. Yeah, mm. I, I've seen that before. So it, it is used for this kind of entities, huh? Or this kind of approach. Yeah, but I think for, ways, uh. fortune tellers don't really deal much with ghosts or mm. demons. I, mm. I don't know. I don't think so. I see. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, Rugaya Sapuan. Sirfan, mm. see or feel anything in the studio? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah. 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 Done. Mm. Okay, Iskandar Zukainan. Uh, I haven't heard this story before and studio and audio cuts out. Cuts out. Something doesn't want the story to come out. Is it our audio that cuts out? Uh, no, no. The audio is on. Yeah. The audio is on. Okay. So, no need to worry. I hope so. It's on, bro. You know, you're going to be in trouble, bro. No, I can see from my uh, audio interface from here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, is it, oh, is it, does he mean that, you know, when we record? Oh, you're recording. You're, you're recording. recording. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, I haven't heard this story before. That means he had never heard this story before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's is it? Iskanda, is it? Iskanda Zukai Nine. Okay. I think that's my friend. Uh. Ah, okay, yeah, okay. Because I always tell him all these stories. Ah, I see. <laughs> okay, Daniel Amirul Ashraf. Okay, he he commented that Bedok Reservoir 600 plus confirmed plus chop haunted. Of course. Yeah. 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 100, of 100%. course. I agree. I, I can agree. endorse that as well. And uh, okay, uh, Rugaya Safwan again. Okay, uh, spider with human head sounds kind of similar with the one Si Ching saw. Ghost Whisperer episode. Wow. Ghost Whisperer? Yeah. I mean, Si Ching. Previously, we had Si Ching on our show, right? Oh, yes. Mm. She also mentioned about uh, Spider sure, with Human. Oh, okay. No, Sir Ching. Sorry. Yes. I, I need to improve my Hanyu Pinging. Yes, of course. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Su Hien. Uh, sorry if I mentioned it wrong or pronounced it wrong. Nice show tonight. Great guest. Thank you Yay. so much. Thank you. Thank you. For those, okay, maybe you want to uh, say say about the show me appreciation? You do it. Since uh, you, you love talking today. No, no, no. I, no, I will just read. No, you okay. do it. I, I don't have the details with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the screen, man. Okay, okay. For those, right, <laughs> who want to show your appreciation to our uh, great effort in making this show Uh, very entertaining to you guys right you all can buy us a coffee at www.buymeacoffee.com slash gfstv yeah um, you can find the link on um, the description right hmm. on this post that, that has this video yeah the link is there's a click and then you can buy 1, 2, 10, 15, 20, 100 I don't know man it's up yeah. to you hmm. yeah okay this one I have to read I have to read If I if I don't read I will not go back home later Okay, my my wife actually commented on this live vi- oh, video. Oh, wow. Hello. <laughs> okay, Sharifah Shaima Alkav. Hello. All right. We had a cat named Puteh too. Haha. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, she had she had a cat. And the cat also have a given ability like yours. Hmm. Like your your cat. The same. Maybe it's the same cat. Just reborn again. I, I don't know. Wow. That would be a great story, man. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. Let's, let's document the story, man. Okay, no, I, I don't want. I don't want to go sideways. Okay, Ramona Sidik, the studios haunted by a friendly spirit. Yeah, yeah, definitely, very friendly, definitely. Now is all under control. 
Thank God, man, we have everything uh, with a good flow. We with, with a yeah. good workflow. Yeah. yeah, after a while, she'll get used to you. You know, you guys. Then yeah, yeah. yeah. she will get no, used I to see. Noel. Yeah, yeah. I think she needed to get, <laughs> she's really used to him, yeah. but just getting used to me. No, she, yeah. she's, she's she's just annoyed with me. So she will get used to Nobel. Yeah, yeah, because it's damn annoying. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, uh, okay. We have a few more. Uh, we have time for a few more uh, question. How can we Singaporeans, we 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 will be more intertwined with our helpers culture, so we know how to help them. I I feel that we just need to communicate. Like we don't mm. communicate. Like mm. we even with each other. Yeah, right yeah. with your neighbors and all. You don't communicate, and. I feel uh, this is something I feel very strongly about. Like we treat our helpers as human um, third world citizens. You know, mm. I know a lot of people. You know, the helpers can't eat at the same dining table. Oh um, yeah, correct. Even when they they go out and eat, right? The helper is just standing one corner waiting, mm. and then the family is eating. I I don't know. You, if you really want to know about the culture mm. uh, of your helper, I'm sure they. I'm going to tell you. You know. And I feel that if you got a good rapport with them, then the work relationship becomes better. Yeah. I, don't, I don't have uh, a helper. helper before. I am yeah. the helper in oh, the house. Yeah, because wow. I, I I mop the floor, I sweep, I clean, I vacuum. You know, my um, I, it's not not to say that my wife doesn't do anything because she does. You know, mm, she's got mm. the most difficult job. Are you in, showing off your in, skills or what? No, yeah, huh? no, I'm just trying to pluck myself. <laughs> no, my, my wife is 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 busy. You know, okay. being a mom that's the most difficult job in the world. Yeah, true, true. Yeah. Moms are the best, man. Yeah, mm. so yeah, just getting to know them as as a human being. Mm. Like you have to treat them as a human being, man. Mm. Yeah, I know some people don't even give their helpers a day off. Do you think because of uh, employers uh, being very? Uh, I'm I'm not I'm not saying I'm not speaking for most more all these employers. I'm just saying in general. Uh, uh, do you think that employers when they being very nasty or being very I would say very demanding towards their helpers that would cause that friction until they would practice this kind of witchcraft upon these families. Yeah, mm. I I agree with that. I mean, okay. usually when 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 people well, uh, this helper come to Singapore, yeah. you mm. know, they either they implant or they keep. It's just to protect themselves and all that. So if the spirits come to possess them and all that, mm. something must have triggered. trigger. Yeah, mm. that, if there's no trigger, there's no possession or there's no you know. I see. What you call that? Yeah, yeah. But I think there's a very fine line as well, right? That you mm. know, you if you treat your helper really well, mm. then they might think that oh, he's in love with me. Or you know, mm. yeah, I know they fall in love with okay. that with the the male boss, for example. Alamak, then yeah. problem really. Yeah, so mm. I don't know, man. There's gonna be like a fine line. Boundaries, lah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, boundaries. I don't know how. how There must be that. a balance, ah. Uh. Yeah, There must be a balance. Uh. And then, like you said, it's very it's very relevant, you know, when when you mean when you mention about communication with the helper. Mm. If we have constant communication, right? Uh, I think we can we can possibly, right. Uh, eliminate whatever mm. kind of uh, uh, negative circumstances that can come out of this. Yeah, mm. and I feel that their mental well-being is so important as well. If you're gonna task them to look after your children, mm. look after your house, you know, you yeah, just treat them right. I I have a friend. I mean, he he mentioned this before. Uh, because one my okay, I have these two friends. When we, we they are having this conversation in front of me. Uh, friend A mentioned to friend B, A, why are you not being strict to your helper? Why you why are you being so lenient to your helper? Give her that this and that. You know what my friend B replied? Mm. He said that no, if I'm strict or if I'm hard on my helper, she will go hard on my kids. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So he's being very uh politically uh right now on yeah, that part. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's true. Also. Yep. Hey, uh, you know Joanna that came on our show? Yeah, Joanna Ash. Yeah, uh, she bought us ten coffees, man. Wow! Yeah, she said love the work, so quirky and so entertaining. Thank you so much, Joanna. Thank you, Joanna. Yeah, my favorite tarot card reader. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have a few more uh, question. Uh, really enjoy this uh, this session. Thanks. We'll buy you guys coffee. Thank you, Ramona Sidi. Thank Ooh. you so much, uh, Calvinda Singh. Uh, great stuff, Noel and team. Really appreciate the passion. We'll buy you all a coffee. Thank you again. Woohoo. Oh wow! Wow. Okay. Uh, That's so nice. Ali Anwar, how can we Singaporeans be? Okay, this one we have already uh, answered. Okay, uh, Tizul. Uh, but can you please read Ali's question? 
Oh, we we have the answer ni. Oh. He 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 posed the question twice. Okay, yeah. and his question was his question how can we Singaporeans be intertwined with our helpers culture so that we can help? Just now we already oh, okay. so he posed it twice. Yeah. Yeah. Um anyway, Ali is one of the producers on the show and uh yeah, he's oh. just just a really nice guy. Oh, we yeah. sh- we show. This show lah. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you see his name on, 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 on my script all okay, the time. Okay. I see. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, Mr. Ali. Sorry. Okay. All right. We have a comment from Tizul. Hi, Noel. Yes. While I was browsing through your YouTube videos, uh, I came across a recommendation videos about a Malaysian solo ambush. Have you heard or watched this solo ghost hunting before? I have no idea what this is about. I think um, this is a show. Oh, uh, I I think I I know this guy. He is um, he goes around. I think he went to Japan as well. But he mm. was from the army before. I think like some elite force. Mm. So he does stuff alone. If ah. this is the right guy, then yeah. Because I I appeared on this show, uh, this other podcast, and then they mm. have interviewed him too. Oh, yeah, it's nice. called One Night One Mic Stand. Right, if you guys can check them out, they're on Spotify. Yeah, they they're really good. So they interviewed this guy, ah, and he just does the most craziest stuff, man. He does it alone. Wow. Yeah. In Singapore. No, I just said Japan. Japan. No, <laughs> Japan, like Malaysia and all. But is that the question? No, or am the I question, hearing it wrong? The question here, you say that I came across a recommendation videos about a Malaysian yeah, solo lah. ambush. <laughs> okay, yeah, never mind. Okay. I, I think I, I'm 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 not in I'm not centered right now. Okay, because too many things have to take care, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ramona just bought us free coffees. Wow! Yeah. Thank you, Ramona. She says, "Great job, guys! I've just become your top fan." Oh, thank you, thank you. Really She's appreciate. She's sweet as ladu. L- Amma. <laughs> you know what that is? Yes, it's a sweet uh, dessert for men in 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 in, in Indian cuisine. Uh. Yes, I love ladu. I know what is I know what is ladu. I love ladu. Okay. Yes. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? Anything else? Okay. Uh, I think that's about it. Uh, Ali Anwar comment. Uh, Wah, paise lah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you paise. I more paise, bro. <laughs> okay. All be paise together. Uh, okay. We gotta wrap wrap this up, yeah. right? Uh, before mm. we go, uh, we'd like to thank you very much, Sirfan, for joining us in the mm, studio. Thank, thank you, you Sirfan. It's so awesome so to to have you here. Yeah. Um, What is coming up for you, right? As an actor or as um, uh, what was the company that you okay, have? I'm I'm currently I'm running about three companies. Mm. Uh, Fun Play Workshop. Uh, it's in the Facebook and okay. uh, you know, uh, by and Bayang Troop. So at the moment, uh, I for Bayang Troop we are planning to have an online performance. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's a it's called the Bayang series. Okay. So which uh, the first one will be in 20, on 27 February. Mm. Oh, so nice. I, yeah, so there are three stories the Bayang series. Mm. So basically we are bringing in folk tales. Yeah. Oh. So the first story is like a uh, attack of the swordfish if you know, the legend yeah, of yeah. Great Hill. Yeah, right. Um the second one is uh, Sang Nila Utama. Okay. Uh-huh. And the third one is Padang. Mm. Uh, mm. Padang, yeah. yeah. Correct. So um yeah, just just go to our Facebook page mm-hmm. Bayang Troop, yeah, uh, or Fun Play Workshop. Nice. So we will yeah we will advertise that. Okay, we will mm. put the uh, the links Link yeah, on our in, video description below. Yeah, right. definitely. We'll definitely do that. Yeah. Right. Nice. Okay. Nice. Man, all the best for your future endeavors, man. Thank you. Mm. Definitely, definitely. Okay, I think that's it for this. Yeah, app. it has wow. been a very man enriching uh, app. Episode here. Yeah, yeah. I, I think we shared a lot, like you know, with whatever knowledge we have, and mm. I hope it has been it will benefit you, the viewer. You mm. know, if you know something that we have not covered, maybe you know, share yeah. with everybody because I think that's how we become better, right? Mm. We just keep sharing the knowledge that we have. Yep. Mm. Yes. Wow. Okay, I'm hungry because I've not had my dinner. dinner. Yeah. You think you, you you think you alone? Yeah, haven't had dinner. I don't really care about you because hey, don't say that, lah. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the welfare must go to me first. <laughs> yes, because you did. Like once again, guys, if you've been watching from uh from the first time we came live on on Facebook, yeah, the interface is different. We got a whole new look. Uh, yeah. And I think next week what we're gonna try to do is to put the Facebook comments just below our names, mm. right? So where you see the ticker, the scrolling ticker. Your Facebook comments will will appear live, so everybody mm. can see as well. Can enjoy. Yes. Yeah. 
Okay, I wish all of you a fantastic weekend. Mm. I, I know it's been raining a lot and there's a lot of chaos going on all around the world, but don't let that affect you. If you can, don't even watch the news or read the news because it's always bad news, right? Yeah. And that's bad energy. Mm. Yeah. Well, till then. <laughs> till then, <laughs> we would say... Yeah. To, all, to all my friends, yeah. buy them coffee. Yeah, oh, thank you so much. Thank yeah. you so much. Great show, guys. Yeah, and, and, and support his work because yeah. this, this guy's awesome. He's really talented. And um, yeah, I I think local artists here need a lot of support. And True. Yeah. he's got good stuff coming out. 27th of Feb, right? February, mm. yes. Yeah. yeah, especially this during this COVID period. Yeah. 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 All, all artists here need as much support from the sure. public as much as possible. Sure. Uh. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay, with that, um, we wish you once again a pleasant weekend mm. and uh, always stay positive, guys. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Good night. I actually listen to it at work and I don't dare to listen to it before I sleep. Noel is the king of Singapore paranormal. <laughs> You're listening to Haunted Hour. Real ghost stories from real people. She could actually see 